MCAS Miramar just unleashed a full force of new of a new power grid protecting thousands of neighbors from rolling blackouts. ABC 10 News reporter Cassie Carlisle tells us how a decade of work in renewable energy was put to the test and will continue to help during this heat wave. The heat wave on top of the pandemic created a desperate situation for our power grid. We've reached a point where we need to really take action to conserve. Jessica Packard with SDG&E said we're at maximum capacity. Many saw rolling blackouts over the weekend. Tuesday night, Marine Corps Air Station Miramar stepped in. Although not entirely ready, we um, did whatever we could to get our system online and, and helping support as soon as possible. Mick Wasco, installation energy manager, said the base has been working on a microgrid for more than a decade. It's powered by three sources, solar, landfill gas, and a power plant that uses natural gas and diesel. These are not backup generators. These are generators with the best equipment possible to clean the emissions. The system succeeded, eliminating six megawatts of usage from San Diego's grid. That prevented 2,000 homes from going dark Tuesday. I don't know that everybody knows what, what we're capable of doing at Miramar, and I think the goal over the next couple of years is to demonstrate that. Demonstrate why their system is multi-award winning, achieving the 2019 Secretary of Defense Environmental Award for Sustainability and the Environmental Protection Agency's National Award for Energy in 2015. But I think this is only the beginning, and I think that we could greatly improve our abilities in the coming years. A system designed to power the base in a disaster, supporting the community in need during a pandemic. Cassie Carlisle, ABC 10 News. And Wasco says they will use the microgrid again tonight.